In this video, we're going to do limb occlusion pressure for the upper extremity. What you'll need is the Doppler ultrasound. You will need a tape measure. You'll need a sphygmometer, skin marking pencil or pen, ultrasound gel, and then finding the cuff size that you need. So I'm going to have Emily come on over. I'm going to have her lay on her back. First thing I'm going to do is measure her upper extremity to get the right size. I'm going to go right below the deltoid. So if I follow her deltoid, it comes into an insertion point. That's called your deltoid tubercle. I'm going to wrap right around that del deltoid tubercle because that's about where we're going to be with the cuff. I'm measuring it. We got 13 and a half inches. So I say 13 and a half inch circumference. I have my VFR worksheet, and 13 and a half is going to be size cuff two. So I'm going to use the number two cuff. I can tell it's the number two cuff because it has a number two labeled. I'm going to open this all up, and then what I'm going to do is make sure that the stem is facing me in this manner to make sure it's easier to inflate. So I'm going to pop this on. When I feed this through the D-ring, I'm going to make sure that there's overlap between these two pieces. If it's open like this, that means I'm not going to have uh, enough pressure with the cuff in order to create limb occlusion pressure. So I'm going to close this down. I'm going to get this as tight as I can before I even inflate, and then I'm going to let her relax her arm. Now I'm going to turn her arm up, and I'm going to find her radial pulse. It should be right here. This one's usually much easier to find than the lower limb, and I feel it right there. I'm going to take my skin marking pencil. I'm going to put a little mark. I'm going to get my electro or electro gel, place a little bit. I'm going to turn on my Doppler and find my sphygmometer. And I'll let you hold that guy. And I got this. So now I'm going to find, find the pulse. there's no air in the bladder and then I'm going to close this the valve of the sphygmometer down now I'm going to inflate and right there I lose the pulse that tells me that's her limb occlusion pressure, which is 110 millimeters of mercury. And what that means is that at 110 millimeters of mercury, on this cuff, on this arm, in this position, blood flow is not going into the limb, nor is it escaping. And so that is how to find limb occlusion pressure in the upper extremity.